Okay, I don't remember if it's this, but I, it's either you have to throw a bunch of grenades right at the beginning and hold down the X button so that you can stay in the pelican. Oh. There's a way to stay in the pel pelican, but I don't remember how to do it specifically. Okay. So I'm just going to keep holding the X, or pressing down the X button and... I guess we should end the episode of this. Oh, and, well, I mean, after this we do is, this. I mean, this is already the beginning of the next episode, right? But I was in the middle of the story. <laughs> and I... Well, now it's just going to have to... Oh, God. Well, that well, we're didn't dead. Work. Well, never mind. So, <laughs> never mind. Did you you screw it. I did. I threw many grenades. It's like, hey, you know what? We should use sniper rifles so that people don't know where we are. But guess what? We're going to use grenades because... That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, man. You can't see me? I'm only flashing a light at you. Yeah, right? I, I, like, they're, they're I trying, can't see a thing. I don't know way. what's going on. All I, the words are in front of my screen. I, I can't I, aim at anything. I'm literally just rushing right now and seeing how far it takes me. And so far, it seems to be taking me almost everywhere I need to go. Uh, just don't stop moving. Never stop moving, ever. What is happening over there? It's, uh... Back to what I was saying earlier, like yeah. grade 11 to 12 is when I, I think I went through... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! How oh. many schools did I go to throughout all those those years of school? Let's see, there was uh, preschool, kindergarten, then grade 2 I switched, then grade 3 I switched, and then grade... I recommend uh, six I switch. Oh my god. That's and a then lot of seven. Uh oh. And then grade eight, then ten, then grade eleven, then grade twelve, and then grade twelve again. So pretty much every year almost you were yeah. switching schools. Wow. But again, grade twelve twice because I went to grade twelve twice. Really? Yes. I did not know that. I failed English like I said, I did really well on tests, but if only tests you do well on and you don't do the homework, yeah. you kind of slightly don't make it. Yeah, fair enough. So I failed grade 12 only because I didn't do enough homework. Aww. I don't really know if they have too much of that, like, nowadays. I I mean, I've, as long as you have enough homework. And it was just English. Uh, really, yeah. Just English. But I did well in every other class. I love how everyone's just like, but it's, but it's the language that you speak. How could you fail that? And then I'm like, you know what? It's the homework. I didn't do yeah, the homework. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally that. I did right? really well on the test. And it's not just speaking English. It's like, you know, because there's writing in there. There is uh, poetry. There's like all this different stuff, right? So you might be able to... Spelling. Jeez. Yeah. The hardest one. Right? Oh, dude, spelling? <laughs> oh. Even though I did fail grade 12. Yeah. Because I didn't have enough credits because I failed English, a mandatory class that you needed. Yeah. I still... Uh, like went back the next year and just passed just by doing enough homework that time. Yeah. Um, and then I did go to college and anything computer related in any class I did really well in. Like oh, nice. I was in computer drafting. Oh, drafting. Wait, is that? It was like, is computer drafting the same way as like drafting drafting? Uh, it's, I oh no! <laughs> I did both. Oh. I did paper and pencil drafting. Yeah. And I did computer, like building. Uh, environments in a computer, like a like making a house with the computer. Oh, nice! Oh, I've done and that. I took that in grade nine. That was fun. Uh, I did that for t t 10, 11, and twelve, I think. Oh yeah, it's grade ten because there's a eleven A and eleven B. So right. Then there's a twelve A, twelve B, and then there's um, and then there was the another school did just eleven. And oh. It, it was the paper. Paper drafting. Oh, they, okay. They didn't have enough money for for computers. computer drop. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. And that's when I did accounting as well. Oh, okay. Um, in grade, I did grade eleven or ten and eleven counting. Yeah. And it was it was not bad, but the cool thing about it is that the computers in it. Yeah. You can, we uh, after you've done all your homework, you can play those. Uh, you can play video games that you put onto the computers. Oh, nice! Oh, that's And the sick. one we were playing is it being a drug dealer. <laughs> being a drug dealer? And trying what? to what? manipulate the market to... What? It's basically you're selling... You're buying drugs. Yeah. And you're selling the drugs. Yeah. At a higher profit. And you're trying to make a profit every time. Right, but... Basically, 
think Animal Crossing, but with but drugs. The, but the turnip, the turnip, yeah, uh, market. Yeah, you, you've heard of the turnip. Yeah, I've heard of the turnip. It's market, basically yeah. doing that, but with multiple different uh, drugs. Yeah, that's that's a fun thing to do in school. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And um, I also. Like, I made my own Flash game. No, not really a Flash game. Uh, it's Hypercard. Oh, uh, okay. You click on an area, and you go to a new area. Right. You just basically traverse. And it, it was like 120 Hypercards. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I just made the game, and I had a lot of people play it in my class. Did a lot of people like it? Yeah. Like, like what just did you... I kind of went, like, well overboard what I needed to do. Yeah. And it was just fun. Nice. And well, I, like, what was it? Like a story-based thing? It was, like... it was like, you go in a house and you just try to, like, solve issues with the house and try to get yourself out of it. Right. And you're trying to find a way to escape because the house is in the middle of nowhere and you yeah. need to find, like, keys to a oh. car or, begin, or something like that. And yeah. Basically, yeah, you're just trying to... You're searching the house and then you have, like, death traps and all that stuff. What, was it, like, a horror game or, like... It was just a. Would, would you classify a, it as like a somewhat of a horror game? It's like a. I don't, I don't know. Uh, just a game. It's not a horror <laughs> game. It's not like somebody was after killing you or anything. Oh, but, okay. Um, it was more like a trial and error game. Right. Think of it like a, a point and click game. Uh, oh, okay. Like, like King's Quest. Yeah. But well, not cool. not story. Not a huge, heavily storied game. Yeah. It was just a very simplified story. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's. I don't know. That's all. It still sounds fun. It was fun. If I actually like, it was just a side thing I did. Yeah. And it was fun. Nice. And it was just learning a, a program, and that was just fun. Oh, you're dead. I. Oh, I'm super dead. And now I'm dead. <laughs> yep. I'm blindly doing this, by the way. I'm telling the story. I'm just like destroying grenades, <laughs> yeah. and I died from that <laughs> thing hitting me. <laughs> I, I that happened to me earlier, but uh, I feel like yours was uh, a little funnier. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'll go back so that you can uh, you can spawn a little bit. Oh oh, I'm just using your screen right now to to direction myself. Oh oh, there we go. Oh. I'm You're going using back. Like cars like a camera, <laughs> yeah. a rear view camera that you yeah. just look into the console. The, the rear view master chief. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think that's how he would uh, back up? It's just all of a sudden when he backs up, you see like a little corner in his uh, face, <laughs> like a flashing like the, uh, the face shield that he has. Yeah, that shows the face what's shield he has. <laughs> the mask he's wearing because. Uh, you know, I mean, the worst thing that Master Chief could get is COVID, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. No, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we, we should be, you know, happy that we don't have to deal oh. with... We, we don't have to deal with uh, space COVID. Because space COVID <laughs> is... I mean, that's on a whole other level, right? <laughs> like, that's... Sounds more dangerous than Earth COVID. Oh, it is. It is. It's much more dangerous. Because the thing about space COVID is that, like, it's not only in the air, because there is no air, it's just everywhere. <laughs> like, space is It's in over. the particles. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the... It's in the dark matter. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you said in the barnacles. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, there's barnacles This is not an Aaron dream. <laughs> yeah, an Aaron dream? Yeah. What? One of his dreams that he was talking about is... Uh... Uh, no, no. I think it was, uh, Dan. Yeah. It's like... Something was happening, and then he goes barnacles, and everything started having barnacles. What? It, really? It's a, it's, uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm so for dad, dude. I'm gonna die. It's like I just jumped into a branch. Nice. And everyone's dying, and especially me. Okay. And you probably. I live. Hey, you. I mean, that's good. You would probably won't live for much longer. I didn't live. <laughs> Not that the I killed. I didn't. I didn't kill you or anything, but I don't know. Oh. Oh! He went, oh, I thought he was gonna jump oh. off the cliff. Oh! He okay, there we go. Shot from behind, by the way. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look at that trick shot. Trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it short. Okay, trick shot. Look at that. Boom. That's gonna go right in the hole. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Boom. That's the thing because I always think like, oh yeah, I'm safe behind a rock, and then uh, I am not because of the all the skulls we put on. <laughs> Blew up your ears. Yep. Your everything's drums. everything's blowing up, dude. I'm sorry, I gotta yeah. I mean you were I'm already back. dead, but 
I was just, you know, I, I confirming that you were done. Every time we like get a certain distance, I just remember having such a hard time playing the game when I when I was playing Legendary. Uh oh, when you're doing it solo? Yeah. Or yeah. Um Halo 2 is the hardest Halo game I say on Legendary. Um because that one's or that one there was just so many uh, jackal snipers that I'm pretty sure they were all just using like aim bots uh, because it didn't matter where they whoa. shot you if they shot you in the foot you were still dead in one hit <laughs> like did, you, there was no yeah so you had to know where they were and if you weren't good at getting uh, headshots on them to kill them right away then you were pretty much screwed yeah you were 100% just painfully screwed yeah um what is that? I think it's Delta Halo or or the one after that called Regret. Uh, those are just the hardest ones I found. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can eat him off the edge. Eat him off the edge? Yes! I yeeted one off the edge, dude. Are, I, are I you proud of me? I just tossing grenades the yellow one. Oh nice, oh that's fun. I'll throw grenades too. And we'll get in each other's way of grenades. Right. And Ooh. probably kill each other. <laughs> Watch out, I threw a grenade you're right flying. by you. Right by you, you're, you're, oh no. He's dead. Oh nice. That was good. Took a lot of grenades, <laughs> though. I, I just, I just blew the other one off the edge, so. Yep. Oh, Brent! <sighs> I was just too, too lazy to move. <laughs> I feel like that would happen in real life. Like, there's a grenade there, and it's like a 10-second timer, and it's like, yeah, I mean, I could move, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> uh, clear the drop zone, Brent! Like, we, we already did. We are just here. No, we have to clear the other drop zone. You know, the one over there? Oh. Sorry. We cleared them and they dropped. In the zone. <laughs> that guy just got a boost. Yes, he's alive! So you turned into Sonic for a second. <laughs> yes! Uh, Sonic, you are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is fantastic. You threw a blue quill at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. A, a burst of energy. Yes, a burst of energy after eating those rings. Where does where does Sonic put those rings, by the way? That he it's gets supposed to like into a pouch that he has. At least apparently towards uh, apparently in the movie, he puts them in a pouch. Oh, so but they're only like small rings though, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're tiny rings that expand to be dimensional rings. Oh, okay, that's 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 interesting. I never would have expected. Oh, invisible elite! Invisible elite! Have throwing you... grenades literally everywhere. Have I'm you... gonna kill everyone. Oh, I threw a grenade at where I was going. <laughs> I don't know where everyone is, but we're all dead now. Did you not watch <laughs> the... the wall? Did you not see the uh, the newest Sonic? No, I have not. I have not seen it. I've heard it's good, but I've heard it, it could also be solved in like two seconds, or, or the whole story yeah. was pointless. And I tried to tell that to my friend, and he just. Uh, we just didn't understand. But it was a fun, it was just a fun plot, so it doesn't matter. I mean, that's true. The whole that's thing true. was just was pretty good. I I don't know, man. It kind of it kind of wraps into the whole thing about why I don't like sports because nothing happens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He does the uh, the floss. I does he? Yeah. Does Sonic do the floss? Does that? I feel like that. Watch out behind you because there's literally many, many, uh, many elites. Damn it! Oh, you died too. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Don't move. Oh, move. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Damn it! You died. Ugh. Okay, I'm going. I'm, never mind. Are you surviving? I'm alive. I am dead. I am dead. <laughs> damn it! I'm just gonna just constantly throw grenades. Yeah, that's door. the thing. Because everyone that dies will have... Oh! I just got slashed! Oh, Bren, watch out, because there's definitely a... Where's yeah. Axel? Where's Axel? He's in Kingdom Hearts right now. He's in a different world. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh jeez! Yeah, I kind of threw a grenade over there too. I'm no, sorry. No, you, I just you threw uh, uh, a grunt's dead body when flying at me. Oh damn! <laughs> oh my so god! So I immediately just tried to run away. Oh man! Oh 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 oh. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, we're not okay. I don't even trust dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. Right. Jeez, I it makes me oh why did I, I just I forgot that. about it I forgot about it 100 I just forgot about that I love how in this first game you couldn't actually get the energy sword oh yeah yeah because they just as soon as it, oh hunters okay really I got pushed backwards into over here uh okay and survived that's pretty good because I am uh, literally about to die. Um, 
in like two seconds, yep. Hey, Brad, you don't have a Magnum on you, do you? No. Darn. No. I mean, not that we could use it no anyways way. because we're doing this, uh, you know, without using guns, but if you do shoot them in the back with a, uh, yeah, yeah. a Magnum, they, they will die immediately. Okay, all my grenades are back, bouncing back. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. You're, oh you no. Just threw a oh no. <laughs> Wait, did I really? I'm gonna run it. I'm just gonna run it. I died. I'm just gonna run. I think it was this one? It's no. no. Red, oh. red means no. Oh, wait, but hold on. Hold on. I got an idea. I got an idea. Watch this. Yes! <laughs> you barely are. Yes, right. I did it! Oh, I don't care. I shot him like once. It's fine. It doesn't do anything, anyways. Stop it! You're going in. Stop it! Going no! In. Now you're dead. No, I'm not! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yep, yeah, let's go. Just go, Brent, this way. Just come with me. Come with me if you want to get stuck. Damn it. Okay, I guess we do have to fight them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure we go past them where they just came out of. Well, no, and then and then it'll be like, hey, there's like, this door is locked, so we need to find a way around. But usually you can skip that part and, and usually just go to like where you need to go. What? Uh, if you want, you can, you can continue down that way and I'll beat up uh, uh, this bad boy right here. The hunter. Yeah. Ooh, I think I didn't kill him. I did not. I did not kill I'm him. I'm pretty whatsoever. sure we go. Look, see, doesn't not. open. Yeah, because you, they what they say is they're like, hey, there's you need to go and uh, yeah, there you go, there you go. I had to wait for what's your face to be like, yo, use the side so now passages. That's the wrong way, right? And then you go back to the right way. Yep. Oh god. Oh grenade. How really? far are we in the game already? Uh, we... we're on level three. Okay. And there's uh, like nine levels, I think. So we're like a third of the way through that the was... game after we beat this. You're, this is I'd be right shot from behind. behind. You. Yeah, you're being super shot from behind, dude. Someone was just shooting that green stuff right up your uh, oh, right up your booty. That's not fun. <laughs> it's not. Oh, uh, no. He's behind us. Oh, he's really behind us. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. uh, that shoved me in the other end of the corridor. Oh, man. When uh, I'm going to be the most excited for when we play Halo 2, because we will turn on the Sputnik skull for that. But we will, we'll play it as a regular playthrough for that. I don't think we need to go crazy on the grenades again. <laughs> Um, but if we do, or if we turn on Sputnik, Back. we can do a lot of, uh, um, exiting the map or, like, finding ways out of the map. Oh, okay. Stuff on that, especially in, uh, Outskirts, I think, is when you first get to Cairo, and it's the city that you're in. There's a lot of, uh, game exiting, or, or level exiting stuff. You can do in that, which is super fun. I don't know what part I'm looking at. That's his I arm. think his head is literally in the. It's in the wall. Okay, Brent, stand back. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Did you shoot it? No, I did nothing. <laughs> what? Okay, that was. That was just immediately exploded. I don't. I've never seen it do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you like shot it as I threw it, and I was like, Brent, you are the you are a genius. You're a master of. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, we can just. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you'll need to really... Go in there? Yeah, unless this is the beginning area, but I don't think this was. No, this okay. was... Okay! No, this was, uh... What is it? We gotta go here or something? I don't remember. I don't, There's I don't elite. remember. And, and, uh... I'm just, I'm just staying back here. <laughs> I'm just staying back Jackal. here. Jackal. Hey, there we go. Okay, yeah, we opened this. Yeah, this thing opened now, so okay. we're good. So now we gotta continue this way. And I think that's it. What's the best projectile kill you have ever got? Whether it be grenade or the hatchet throw you were talking about. It's or... the hatchet throw that I got recorded. <laughs> uh, oh, is that the one that's on your channel? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, but... It, it was just spawn into the game. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, look up, throw, and it, and it immediately, and immediately killed, killed someone? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh. Dude. And it was sabotage or something like that. It's one of the ones where you only get like one life. Oh, dude, that's brutal. <laughs> um, what is it? Demolition? Yeah, it must yeah that's that. the one where it's like you get one life and you have to uh, plant the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. I played that. Uh, I started playing Modern Warfare 2. Uh, kind of at the end of its, you know, Light popularity ness. Yeah. But that was like before Black Ops came out, and then Black Ops came out, and then I kind of moved to that. Um, I played Black Ops a lot. 
probably the most that I have actually played anything. I think we're still going the wrong way. Because we're just we're above. Top, we went backwards. Yeah, yeah, we, went, we totally went backwards. Oh my god. I love how it was like, yeah, there's a shortcut if you go this way, and then, and then it was a, a long cut instead. Yeah, so like I played Modern Warfare first. Yeah. And then I played, no, I played like a bit of Call of Duty 3. I'm like, this game's okay. Yeah. Uh, and it was just me and my cousins playing against each other. And try not to scream like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Call of Duty 4 uh, Modern Warfare was the one I played a lot with like six other people. Oh, nice. And then, then Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops as well. Oh, no. It went Modern Warfare 1, so Call of Duty 4, then Call of Duty 5, which is World at War. Yeah. And then Modern Warfare 2, then Black Ops 1, and then I think it went Modern Warfare 3. Oh, okay. And then Black Ops 2 is when I stopped. Yeah. I... Yeah, I don't think I played much of Black Ops 2. Maybe a little bit, but Black Ops 1 was kind of like the main. Zombies was the only reason why I got it. I never got into zombies. I like I, zombies. I, everyone loved it. <laughs> everyone loves zombies, and, and that's been such a big thing um, since Black Ops 1. Was Black Ops 1 the first one that introduced No, no, World it? at War. Oh, World at War did. Yeah, 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 right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I never really got into it um, because, I don't know. It, it just was, I, I think because at that point I was really competitive and I was like wanting, I don't know. I didn't want to do a lot of like, oh, we're facing zombies and trying to get as many rounds as you can and it's getting Stop, rounds, right. upgrading the people as much as possible, yeah. and just like managing everything all at once. Yeah. Yeah, I like I, I did play it a couple times. It just wasn't my go-to. My go-to was just literally just like the regular um, team Slayer or something, yeah. or not Slayer. Slayer is what they call it in here, but um, yeah, yeah. Gun game was fun. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> like that's gun all, game. it's always my favorite one. Yeah. In, uh, the the newest one. Uh, the new oh, we played that. We played a bit yeah. of gun game. We recorded that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was super fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, Brent, I'm super dead, so I hope you're alive. I uh, know I was I was caught by an elite. Yep. You know, you know what's something uh, that's fun that I did over the weekend as well? What's that? I did another escape room. Like, not the online one I was telling you about earlier. I, like, actually went in person and did another escape room. Oh, okay. Up, up in Whistler. Oh, you got stuck, dude. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. Ooh. Friggin'. Um, right. Yeah, I went up to Whistler. We did a uh, an escape room there. It was really cool. It was based on 80s arcade video games. I think you would get a big kick out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I won't give away, like, how to do certain things, but, like, there's three different rooms to it right so the first room is just a small room there's four arcade machines right there's a pac-man there's donkey kong there's uh galaga or space invaders and then there's a pinball one right okay. and the pinball one is the largest one and it's like on a different wall right so after you know finding you know the secret codes on all the machines to unlock the certain passages and and or unlock the certain like codes to get things and all that um, we, yeah. we put in a code and then it shifted the pinball machine to the side so that we could open a door and go through there, uh. right? And then we were like inside the pinball machine. So we had to figure out puzzles uh, in the pinball machine or like in this <laughs> oh, yeah. room, right? Uh, and then, you know, we got through most of it and then we we're like, okay, we, we got to be done. And we finished the last puzzle and it opened up another secret door and there was another room and i was like oh my god how are we not done this yet <laughs> um yeah it was fun though it was fun i would like to go into more detail about it but i'm like i don't want to ruin it for people in case I, they go and i don't yeah. want to ruin it for you in case you yeah, go to whatever yeah. right so i would yeah. like to go to a resident evil themed one. Oh, that would be fun that would be oh that would be super like, fun dude just like a, a mansion type yeah Ooh. That would be good. I wonder if anyone actually has that. Like a Resident Evil themed escape room. It'd be fairly large because you have to move room to room, I guess. Yeah. Well, and it would be... I feel like they'd have to do it in, like, either the entire escape room. Like, they only have that one. Yeah. Right? Which I don't think is what many Feasible. places would do. Yeah. Because <laughs> then it's like, okay, you've been once and now you've 
Yeah. Most of them are, like, smaller but have more variety. Yeah. I guess, right? So, yeah. So one-room escape rooms? Yeah. Well, the one the one that we went to downtown Vancouver yeah. was just one. That was just one room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the ones up in Whistler, I've done two of them, and so far, uh, the first one was only two rooms, and the one that I did over the weekend was three rooms. And they've got two other ones. There's a uh, Cabin in the Woods one, so maybe that'll be kind of... I don't know if it's supposed to be scary or not, but that might be kind of uh, Resident evil E, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a... which is... this one's the hardest one. It's the Rabbit Hole. And oh, dude, did you see that? He just slipped off the side. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I just, I just oh, okay. <laughs> you, you know, I, I float right off the edge. Monkey see, monkey do, right? No, I just went to go see, and I just <laughs> ended up doing something. Oh no! Now I died. Oh, oh, that's it's okay. okay. That's okay. He's, we he's, still have the music. Yeah, we we still have the music, so we're okay. Yep. Oh, he's, oh, he's yeah, sliding. One again. He did it. Okay, let's maybe let's lure this one over here, so that we can do the same thing to it. Come on, come over here. You know you want to. Come on, yep. Can it go out that way? I don't know if it can or not. I don't. No, not know. that one. Okay, well come over here. Yep, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on, come on, bad boy. You know you want to come over here. Maybe. You haven't fought over there, Brent. <laughs> is I'm, it, is it tri I'm trying to push him back. And I died in an explosion. Okay. Because there's a okay. green explosion thingy. Yeah, there's another grenade that's gonna explode. Okay, come on. No, stop running that way, please. Come over here. Oh, jeez. That was my own grenade that just failed to explode. No! No! Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Come on. I'm back. Come on. Over here, bad boy. Come on. You can do it. Just... Oh, God. Oh, it's coming. Okay. It's definitely... It's definitely... Backing up. Not on its way. <laughs> oh, okay. No, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We got this. Yeah, push it this way. Yeah, okay. We're good. Okay, Brent. I'm gonna do this for the team. I did it, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the entire thing glitched. That's fun. I thought there was more enemies, like, right here, but I guess they all... Oh! Whoa, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You <laughs> threw it, went to the right slightly. <laughs> my, one of my favorite moments playing Halo 3 multiplayer was I was at my friend's place. We were playing, uh, I think we were just doing the regular Slayer thing, and he had the Spartan laser, and he was so, he like, he, he had been trying to get the Spartan laser the entire time, yeah. right? And he was angry that he didn't, and the one time he got it, he's like, yes! Finally, I got the Spartan laser. He goes up to the high or like a high point, right? Yeah. And he aims it, and as soon as he shoots, I Oops. got him in his way because <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what he was doing, right? So I was like, so I got right in his way, but I was close enough to him that he killed himself with it, and I <laughs> and I also died. <laughs> Nothing beats that uh that classic Halo system, like oh, right? I threw it, but it bounced off. Your oh head. no! Darn it. it bounced off your head. Oh, somehow. it bounced off my head? Yeah, it was a oh. plasma grenade that didn't stick to you. Oh, that's interesting. Because I threw it at the Elite, but somehow it... It bounced off my head. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, it just didn't... I it... guess I put that resistant glue on it or something. <laughs> resistant glue. Like uh, cooking oil or something on it. <laughs> Make it all nice and slippery. Oh, jeez. Okay, I well... I saw that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good view from my angle. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, boy. Ay, ay, ay. The main reason I played Halo Reach a ton was because uh, that's when they had the whole credit system to it and when you got a certain amount of credits you would use that to buy armor and buy all this different stuff, right? Yeah. And okay. my, my goal was to get the oh, oh, oh I'm I dead. got knocked off the edge. There's oh. an enemy down there too. Oh, is there really? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, Halo Reach, like they had the credit system. The most expensive thing that they had was two million credits and it was an armor uh i don't know it, it, i don't know if you ever saw it but it was the thunderstorm that went around your armor so oh. it kind of make like or it kind of looked like you were going super saiyan constantly but it was like thunder and stuff that was going around your armor it was cool it was really really cool but it was two million credits 
and there was one below oh. that that was one million credits and it was like pesticide or something it was an, a really yeah. gross insect thing that make it made it look like you just hadn't taken a shower for ever oh, back up too far oh there yeah hey, there we go uh yeah so I decided. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, the two million one was uh, the one that I really, really wanted to get, and I just spent hours and hours and hours just trying to get Running enough credits up. for it. Yeah, yeah. All I did was I went on to the online firefight uh, section, right? Yeah. And you remember what firefight was? It's just the rounds yeah. of uh, fighting it's, covenant. It's, Ge it's gears. Of gears of war, war like came out. mode or whatever the heck it was, right? Yeah. It's like a surviving waves. Yeah, surviving waves of enemies, and I would always do grunt apocalypse, so it was only grunts, and you'd have to kill 120 grunts. Okay. Yeah, and I just repeated that because it was the fastest way of getting credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Oh, 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 bad boy over here. Oh, oh, he's trying to come for me and you. I don't know. I threw. Okay, dead. he's super dead. Yeah, we're fine. We're okay. But he had to stand still and not know what to do for a little bit. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, I, I pressed the thing that I didn't actually need to press the thing for. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I thought I thought that was the thing that we're supposed to do, but we're not actually supposed to do it yet. Okay. That's the thing. I love my couch, but sometimes if I sit on it in the same position for a long time, my back just starts dying. Yeah. Yeah. I also just have horrible posture anyways. Like, I went to get a suit fitted. Uh, no, we both like them. <laughs> double, double whammy. I, I had to go get uh, yeah, a suit fitted for me at some point, and uh, the person who was doing it was like, oh, do you play sports? And I was like, no. And he's like, oh, okay. And he didn't bring it up again, and my brother was like, do you know why I asked you if you played sports? And I was like, no. And he said... Uh, you have such bad posture that he assumed that it was like an injury <laughs> or oh. something, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, nope, that's just, that's just me. So I don't know. My posture has gotten a little bit better, but sometimes, and especially when I'm on this couch, it just sinks. Like my back is just all crooked. It's arching. It's just not, it's just not good. <laughs> and you get that, um, thing that vibrates when you, when you start to slouch. There's a thing that vibrates when yeah, it, it's that's it, it, cool. You put on the, like the the top of your neck. Oh, okay. Or whatever. So yeah. whenever you start slouching, that it doesn't line up. Wow. It, it makes you. It just vibrates a little bit. So you're like, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no. That's pretty cool. I might actually invest in that. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I, I I keep seeing that, but I never end up buying it. Yeah. Um. Oh, is it? Yeah, it should be here. Isn't this where what this face is? Yeah. There we go. Now, Brent, we've we've had some hard sections yep. coming, or, or we've played through them. Um, this is probably going to be the hardest section because we need to protect Captain Keys at with all grenades. costs with grenades and only grenades. <laughs> and he has to not die because if he dies, we lose the level and we need to restart from last checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, good luck <laughs> um, for the both of us, because this is... It's like, whoever he follows, just stay behind. Yeah, pretty... Well, he doesn't follow anyone, is the thing. He just goes I, on I, his own... I remember him following... Oh, maybe it was some, a different section. I think... It, uh, I'm a not sure. Game, like, maybe. He'll, he'll follow us, but, like, I don't know if he's aggroed onto, like, one of us, or if he's just... I, I remember him being... Uh, for some reason, I do remember him just following one person. Maybe it is just one person. I'm not sure. That'll but, make things easier if, yeah, if, if it's he does. Yeah. If he just keeps running for it or follows the Marines, then, uh, then that'll we'll be, be screwed. We'll be screwed for it, 100%. Because we're not the only ones throwing grenades. Yep. The Marines will throw grenades, too. He'll probably throw some grenades as well. That'll kill himself. <laughs> yep. This is, uh... Yep, <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for this, because this is gonna be this is gonna be hell. Where did he get that needler from? He pulled it out of his ass, oh, dude. From the front, his front ass. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh man, life would be different if our if our asses were on the front and the front and our you know other appendages were not. Like, oh jeez, oh god. Being like a grasshopper that has like a weird. 
Uh, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, it's like I, the, I, the knees bending in the backwards yeah. position. Oh god. Where is Captain Keys? Oh, I, okay, I see him. I see him. I. He's kind of just running. Uh, okay. I stopped. Ah! I, I did stop. It wasn't me. They're on the other edge. Oh god, I'm just killing myself. Okay. <laughs> I think they're aggroed onto you. Yeah, so, so I'll, I'll just, stay back. Yeah, you stay back, and I'll just uh, I'll just kind of clear the way a little bit, maybe potentially. Yep. That way and I this remember way. Doing this. I I absolutely remember doing this because I had one person always stand back. Like it, I, was, I played two player, but one player. Oh, okay. And then I just have the second controller just like hide somewhere. So yeah. I can uh, it makes sense. It's okay. all up to you. <laughs> yeah. It's all up to the master I of get, the master. I get to chill back with the the commander dude. With the commander and, and hope that he doesn't just randomly throw a grenade. I've had them where they just throw grenades at random. Like, <laughs> if, as soon as they hear an enemy, they're like, grenade! And then they, you know, do that. Um, okay, wait. If you move up front and I stay back here, what so will happen? I'm, I'm doing a pig, piggy bag. <laughs> you just, wait, teabag him? Nice. Oh, dude. Oh, that's some real teabagging action right there. I found your dead body in the wall. Hey, nice. Wow, I'm really mangled up there. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Oh, oh, there's so many of them. There's a grenade that's just floating here. Holy hand grenade oh, is fantastic. Hallelujah. <laughs> dude, was that first featured? When was that first featured? Uh, I just remember it in Armageddon. Uh, Worms? Yeah. Yeah. I remember, like, in the OG Worms game, they had it. I think. Okay. It was before you could do any sort of, like, level builder. There was uh, only, like, pre-set levels, but it was on PC. Okay. I remember, yeah. It's like Worms 2, probably. Yeah, I think it was Worms 2. Yeah. Worms 2 was fantastic. It was very, 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 very fun. Now, Brent, you might want to hold back there. For um, a little bit because uh oh okay yeah i remember that that we're this screwed, part man. yeah this part is very easy to uh oh, to i die. know it's because it's from um is it a reference it's a reference to uh the uh i can't remember what it's called it has bugs giant bugs movie uh, and they're like marines that are fighting these bugs on a planet uh, I... I can't remember the name of it. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I have no idea. It's not Bugs Life, is it? No. <laughs> no. Or, or, uh... What's the other one? It's, like, what was it called? An what? Ant's Tale? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a Knight's Tale. Uh, that's, that's got, the other uh, one's called Ants. Oh. Zed. Oh, okay. Oh! Uh-oh. Let's see. I'll, I'll oh, they're that. back here now. Okay. You just stay put, and I will try and uh, murder these guys yeah. without anyone coming by and, and dying. Oh, moment. I think they're going to try and... I think I'm close enough that they might... Oh, I died! I'll Starship Troopers. Oh! Okay, that's chill. And the famous scene is by... somebody. <laughs> it's by somebody? I, I just know it has Denise Richards and uh, and there's a guy who goes, we're screwed, man, yeah. we're screwed. And I, yeah. It just has that line. Yeah. Okay, oh! Yes. Cheesed it. Nice. Yep. Perfect. Dude, we did it. it we beat way easier. It was way easier. On two player. Yeah, yeah. That would have been horrible doing a one player. That would have been absolutely horrible doing that one player. Give me a minute to interface with the ship. Was there like um if you keep screwing up it brings you back an extra checkpoint? Uh if you die in rapid succession. Um, like, if you die, like, five times in a minute or something, mm. or, like, a couple minutes, then, yeah, it'll bring you back to a previous checkpoint. Because there were certain points where a checkpoint would happen right before you died. Yeah. And then you would die, and then you'd just keep resetting it. And then eventually it would reset it back to the checkpoint before that. Mm -hmm. But it, it still took a while. Yeah. Yeah, I remember doing that, and I'm like, oh, shit, now I have to do this all over again. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, dude. Ah. <sighs> I think I'm done with Halo for today. Yeah. <laughs> I am I am all Haloed out. So you know what? Next time on this game, we'll play the silent cartographer and we'll probably get distracted by trying to grenade jump our warthog up onto the, <laughs> the main world because that was kind of the main thing to do. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, like and subscribe and, and hit the bell and do the things that you do for everyone else but do for us. And Brent, do you have any last words? Uh, there's a par time. There is a par time, yes. There's a par score and a par time. 
but we're not playing with time or scoring on right now, so that none of that matters. Yeah. So then there's no real reason to even see that. Yeah, okay. but they still show it to you anyways. Okay, bye! You have a plunger. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wait, uh, yes. Yes, I chose that. I chose the plunger boy. He's thumbs, in, thumbs up and a plunger. Yep, because he you, takes you, out all the shit. 